Welcome, Eric. And welcome, Tiva. Good stuff. Got to tell you, this day has been a lot of talking and no action. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, not completely no action. We did set up the D work initially. I guess. I guess. So it's still. I'm, I'm, I'm longing for deep work <laughs> to do hours of something very focused. What the guy? Hey. What kind of work are you looking for, Tifo? Well, for now, the need to do tasks are basically project closing reports and writing nice stories and uh, reasons why I'm doing something. But uh, most of what I like to do is uh, ideate organize, mainly organize and, and improve some <laughs> processes and like moving stuff around on, on, uh, on visualizations. All right. Maybe we, we may have something for you a little bit parallel to uh, the ambassador program. Uh, maybe there are some other things we, we will start outsourcing soon. You know what I'm talking about, Peter? Yep. But uh, it's a little bit too early to um, to uh, make it very concrete. So there are some decisions we need to make uh, internally on that. Um, but it's well possible that we will get into a uh, trajectory where there's ever more and more work going to be outsourced uh, to the community. Yeah. And right. so something related to project management is definitely something that might be interesting there. But I'm, I'm keeping, the, keeping the tension up a little bit for now. Yeah, but sure. <laughs> That's I think... when you When you say something, but actually you know. <laughs> Just, yeah. Now you have a reason to come back next week, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do that too, uh, Felix. <laughs> I, I don't hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's yeah. already seven minutes past. Let's get started. Um, let me share the screen. Yeah, on the topic, I think what I'm looking for from what we know is the from Ambassador program, uh, Peter's idea of making the like uh, singularity net like a high level view how things are related and that view. And my expectation is that people from the community know what to kind of put up on the minor boards or where they organize, and then I will have like a nice like a weekend or something where I just look into what is written there and bring up some like key words or the way I would categorize them and if I go into different like links what doesn't provide it then I will start like finding a map of like what are related then and then drawing my concepts and I just share it out to people and see if they what what they see from here. <laughs> Usually, this is one of the deep works I like to do. Just guessing, like what others like, like to bring structure to uh, complex things, and then also in a visual way. Okay, that sounds cool. It's it's uh, at least very important to know these kind of things, so that when something comes up, 
that uh, if, if now something like that would come up uh, next week, then you're top of mind, of course. So if we know that from everybody, what their uh, preferences are, that would be very helpful. But I'm only a guest here, so don't uh, let me hijack this meeting. No, nah, we're all equals here. That's all good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got Julian joining as well, and welcome, and Lazy Learner, also welcome. Uh, let me give you a quick overview of the uh, agenda. Um, I wanted to do a short recap of the last meeting and the, the feedback, and then a small update on the workgroup progress. Um, there's, right now at least, um, two workgroups, uh, one for structuring the ambassador program and one for making a community podcast happening. So I want to, uh, yeah, give a little update there. And after that, um, to expand a bit on the tasks and rewards and what's happening there. Any additions to the agenda by any chance? I'm sure Architect has something to add. Should I? Don't be shy, come on! <laughs> no, I don't have any <laughs> no hot stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll see, maybe later, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me find the last meeting. Julian Collins shared uh, some information related to podcast stuff on the Discord. So maybe from him something to add, like well, who feedback well, from which key funding winners he got, and if or did anybody reply, or or what? Yeah. Mm, I would say if it's related to the podcast, we can do that during the yeah small update on that. Perhaps? Okay. Or is it separate can from the... Can you hear me? Very softly, but maybe that's on my side. Yeah, no, we can. I think it's me. I think it's me. Yep. Um, so yes, I do have... Um, I, I haven't been actually contacted back, but I did uh, get in touch with a couple of um, the deep funding winners I tried, attempted to. Um, so let's see. I got in touch with Museverse through Twitter. I attempted to get in touch with them. Um, I wanted to interview them. I like that service. It seems I'm quite interested in the um, metaverse and VR and I'm a musician myself. So um, that obviously was kind of a, a no brainer for me. Uh, I have not been contacted back from them either. Uh, there is an, one other um, one other deep funding winner. I decided, you know, a couple at first uh, would probably be enough um, for the first episode, depending on whether or not they actually uh, get back to me. But uh, the other was uh, Henrik or Kenrick Nelson. Uh, I messaged them through Telegram about the risk aware assessments of oh. AI algorithms. That one was quite interesting to me as well. Um, haven't heard back from them either. Um, you know, the uh, Kenrick was about four or five days ago, um, and the Museverse people, I believe, was just yesterday morning for me. So that's less time for them to get back. So um, I don't know. Um, I attempted to look up. Uh, I think his name was. Uh, I have it, like Patrick Gutev uh, through. Telegram as well, but I wasn't able to find them on Telegram. So that's why I, I reached out to them through Twitter, um, you know, because that was, I just found Museverse on Twitter. Um, so yeah, that was a couple of the people that I thought uh, would be nice as far as I'm concerned. Uh, maybe have a short interview with them. Um, 
see, you know, I, I have a few questions that I had uh, put together for them as potential questions. Um, I have, you know, I, I put together a potential mission statement for, for the podcast itself. Um, you know, I, it's obviously just ideas here, but, um, I don't know how much, uh, we want to go over now, Peter. Uh, I do want to apologize guys, because I did actually get up really early this morning and I, I took a nap and apparently slept through all my alarms for the podcast meeting, which is very embarrassing, but I do have to own up to that. That's what happened. So I, I'm so sorry, uh, everybody, for not attending that. Uh, I have been doing a lot of research and uh, note taking for this. I've just been busy with work and it's on a kind of a weird schedule with you guys because I'm over on Eastern Standard Time. So uh, I literally just woke up and ran over here. So um, I have a lot more stuff about the podcast, uh, but I don't know how much we want to go over right now. Um, yeah, I, I did intend to have a little update on that um, a bit later. Uh, yeah, that, that's good. Regarding the podcast and the uh, awarded teams for deep funding, mm -hmm. uh, I can perhaps help you a little bit because uh, I have a kickoff meeting with the teams uh, on Thursday. Okay. So I could ask them uh, if they're interested uh, in joining the podcast. Um, I do have to say you have a little bit of competition because I also want to organize a kind of town hall with them where they will present uh, their thing. But maybe I can frame it in a way that the podcast might have a little bit more time for them. So in the town hall, it will be like five minutes max or something. Uh, and I imagine that in, in the podcast, you can go a little bit deeper uh, with them to their history or their personal things or whatever you want to talk about. Sure, sure. And so, so I can ask them if they're interested. Um, I can ask them if they, uh, if it's okay if I share their emails with you. And otherwise, I can ask them if they uh, are, if they are willing to contact you guys. Mm-hmm. And in that case, uh, who should whom should I be forwarding them to? Did you guys get a lot done today with the Miro um, workspace stuff? I mean, is that somewhere where you think it would go for everybody? I mean, I'm I'm happy to do it too to get in touch with them, but I want it to be available to everybody if they want it. Yeah. I feel like architect and Julian are both very uh good people to contact, but I would want to hear from architect too, where he thinks. I think uh, Julian should have the direct contact uh, because he's the guy that's going to take it further. And can I give them an email address to reach out to or should they reach out on, on social media? Um, no, you can have them reach out um, to me specifically. Um, the email is um, just my first and last name and then uh, collaborations. Uh, that's the one we can use, I guess. It's um, um, Let me see here. Should I put it in the uh, general uh, ambassador event? Uh, I mean, I'm not super knowledgeable about Discord. I know I could just go over to the general uh, tab, I guess, for the ambassador program or maybe into the community podcast chat and just write it in there that's your wish what I, yeah whatever whatever works um, i'm sure uh, peter you can get me the email address uh, yeah i can direct message peter as well okay well you can direct message young as well in that case okay. but sure 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 yeah i'm 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 open to either of that but the right bar is in the yellow at the admins or just through the call, I guess. It's all good. You can also okay. do yeah, I see here. Um, yep, I got it. But yeah, I mean, I, I've thought I was thinking about different segments for the podcast, um, just certain ideas about how because we want to obviously interview these people um, for a bit and have them talk about their projects and illuminate that. But as we were talking last week, maybe we want to have more than just that and 
you know, within a certain episode. So I was kind of brainstorming about that. And I can add that into the Myro itself, or we can talk later about that, guys, uh, about adding that in for everybody to have access to. Yeah, let's just let's keep in touch about these names. It also doesn't have to be in the next two weeks, right? Uh, it can also be in a month or two months or have one awarded uh, every week or whatever. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, is that just depending on what their schedules are looking like, they may not, um, you know, have the time right now. And so I was thinking potentially we could even, you know, message uh, some more just to, to, you know, depending on whether or not these other people don't have the time right now. But if you can actually get in touch with them, Jan, and see uh, if you're going to do it that way, maybe we wait and just see, hey, are either of them ready? And then we can move on from there. Yeah, I will. I will, and um, yeah, probably they will be most motivated to to be on the podcast when their service is close to being uh, uh, published. But maybe also now when the win is still fresh. But like I said, you have some competition with the town hall. Uh, I also think that a number of them are quite technical people. So I'm not sure how comfortable they are being behind uh, a camera or a microphone. I'm not sure how you plan to do the podcast. Yeah, um, that actually reminds me also... um because I have a lot of passion for uh, Singularity Net and all the projects, and I, I do do a, a bit of my own kind of personal research, but I'm in no way a technical person when it comes to, you know, artificial intelligence coding, that kind of thing. So I did have the idea that perhaps we would want to have somebody on the podcast or at least touching in. I know we were talked about crypto AI news, touching in from time to time about stuff, but perhaps even having someone more involved um that has a more technical um you know side to it all and can can kind of speak to everything from a more technical side that we could kind of bounce back and forth um i there's like a vr podcast that i watch from time to time and that's kind of the you know the format there and i just thought that was nice i just don't want to leave anything to be desired as far as not being able to you know speak to it as as much from the technical side so that was something i was thinking about but yeah i imagine they may be a little bit nervous uh potentially to go i, I mean I'm, I'm open to just doing audio we prefer doing video and audio uh at the same time um just to have that for people who wanted you know to have video i think it would, could be nice but it's going to depend on you know what what they actually want to do or can do, um, you know. Yeah, yeah well, you, we have plenty of time to sort that out. Uh, I wouldn't be too um, um, nervous about not being technical. Uh, okay. Actually, the risk when you have somebody really technical talking somebody else who is really technical, you know what's going <laughs> on. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I can see that, yeah. It's better to play the, the stupid host and just ask all those questions that other people don't dare to ask. And yeah. then that will be your job. Well, this is all too technical for me. I don't I don't understand a word what you're saying. Can you explain it in layman terms for me? That sure. will make a hit, I think. Yeah, I thought that could be nice because that's kind of the aspect of the community that I uh, represent, which I can't be alone in that of just uh, someone who's not super technical but has a lot of passion for it and is willing to, you know, watch the videos and, you know, look into the stuff. But yeah, I, I think that that is an audience that I could potentially help serve just because that's who I am. So, but there's obviously sure. multiple facets to the community. And we did one potential here to do it early is that it also gives like the practice to the people. So once it does launch and they do want the uh, outreach and then when they go front of camera, they already have some experience and maybe it would be they would be interested to return and have like a session episode a second episode mm -hmm. yeah that's what i was also thinking that might be nice too if we're going to interview them hey maybe we could say hey let's touch base in a few months or maybe six months or maybe we could do it a couple times where we touch base where i was going to ask them 
um, you know, wh where do you see things going in the near future, you know, further along? And we could touch base with them again. Um, so it could be something where we could see how things are going down the line. And yeah, of course, they would hopefully get a little bit more comfortable as we went along with more interviews. Yeah, I think it would be great if these uh, awarded teams would have uh, enough exposure to the community so that they really become embedded in the community and it's not just giving a paycheck and say good luck. Um, yeah. If you guys can help with that, that would be great. I think that would be, uh, ultimately, uh, that would be better than if me or somebody else from the organization would take care of that. Mm -hmm. So personally, I'm very open to that, and uh, the more the better from my uh, from my point of view. Um, but yeah, let let's see how that uh, how that uh, um, podcast will kick off and and and, and how you get uh, organized there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, deep yes. for this thing, but in a way, um, uh, sorry to interrupt. It's a bit of a uh, right now, I think the, the initial plan for the podcast is to get started with defending candidates. So right. yeah, we'll have to see uh, how to respond and uh, what the timeline exactly will look like. Sorry, architect. Uh, no, no, it's okay. No, uh, I just want to say to you, Julian, uh, please uh, have your thoughts or content that you had in mind uh, uh, elaborating with at your uh, home table. Please put it on Miro and we can maybe collaborate and add and see if something. Sure. sure yeah. Great. Thanks. Okay. And then that is, um, I can access all that through the community podcast tab. You guys have a, a link there for me to just go in there and add from today. Um, yep. Okay. Awesome. Well, it might be buried a little bit by now, but no, I'm sure I can find it. I, I'm not uh, completely inept with this stuff. I just, I'm not, I haven't been using it for years and years and years, but I'm not, I'm probably middle ground when it comes to using Discord. All right. Okay. Yep. Looks like I see it here from like 12 of two podcast ideation and sources. Miro boarded for podcast brainstorming. Yeah, I think I yeah. got it. Um, well, might as well continue a bit more about the podcast uh, since we're here anyway. Um, <laughs> Architect, is there anything you want to share about the progress of the uh, the, the the podcast work group for the past week? Uh, no, I think we touched uh, quite uh, the big points, which was was uh, Julian's. Uh, work on it and uh, the Miro the Miro board work that we have for, uh, well had a couple hours ago and then uh, which we elaborate on uh, so no uh, not much more than that uh, if no one else have something to add from project management point of view, yeah, I see like the overlap that um, the ambassador and podcast team looks to use same tooling. So we now have different spectrum of tasks and we'll see w the learnings of from each of the groups and how how how, how, it, how these tools serve them. Um, yeah, that's a big point, uh, actually, that we're trying to learn from each other and to uh, kind of have a common tool set is, well, kind of goal, I would say, but uh, we, we have to evolve, evolve in our own group and see where we can overlap and improve. So that's that's good. All right, and let's see. Um, yeah, I wanted to do a small recap on uh, last week's meeting and uh, progress made on that. Um, 
things uh, shifted a little. Uh, there was um, last week. I was happy to uh, show around a little bit stuff, uh, like some updates made to the Notion page. But um, actually, during last week's uh, podcast meeting on Friday, um, we discussed a little bit about the tooling and what what kind of stack to use. Uh, Notion was not in that stack, uh, so very likely uh, we will not be using Notion at all, I think, <laughs> um, pretty much. Uh, it will be a combination of um, Gitbook for the documentation side and then um, Dwork for the task side of things, the Trello board, basically. And that's supported by, uh, by Discord. Some of you may have seen um, during the afternoon a little bit, um, yeah, some some messages from from D work popping up into the ambassador chat uh, channel. But basically, it, it needs to be more set up than it is right now. But um, yeah, basically, once once tasks get added uh, to that Trello board, then uh, there will be pop ups in the ambassador chat where, if people uh, are looking around, they can. Uh, they can claim the task uh, to work on it. That's the broad outline. Um, so yeah, that that progress on Notion from last week is uh, out of the window, pretty much. Uh, let's see. Question, Peter. Uh, yeah. The work project uh, have you established one? Uh, I, I was elaborating with, well, more internally. <laughs> uh, so uh, is it something you have established or created a D-Work project for podcast? Uh, no, not so much for the podcast, more for the, uh, let me show you actually. Um, for the ambassador program itself, so a bit broader. I, I do know you, I think this is the podcast one, yeah. Okay, the, so the question is maybe should we use that one or uh, should we have... Well, you... combined. Um, like uh, the way it works is that it, it, it merges. So if you have tasks in one project and then on another project you have tasks as well, you can simply see it in your... Uh, uh, where's that? My task board. That combines it from, like, it, as you can see, it indicates, uh, does this show properly? Yeah. Um, it indicates which project it's coming from. So, yeah, it can be multiple projects on the work. That's not um, in each other's way in any way. Okay, okay. Uh... Uh, uh, the question was really uh, if uh, you should create a, a D work project and act as a kind of administrator or uh, like a owner of the project. But uh, I mean that, that's work yeah. as it was. I don't know which privileges uh, kind of what's the difference will be, but. Uh, well, the cool thing here is that uh, as an ambassador, you, as you connect it with that program, everybody has that ability to be a project manager. So it's like more a decentralized way to manage projects and tasks. And also now, as we created this, I think you, we have the Discord server for the, um, for the podcast group too. And as there is also the team work uh, initiated, you we basically have all the access to, to create the boards and to tasks and move them around. And speaking of that thing, same thing and adding to the like the topic what you asked, like how the process would look like. Um, I, I discussed today uh, with Peter and in the previous uh, room, Cardano was there and somebody else. Um, and there was like, we, when we create these tasks, we try to like analyze, like, why is it, uh, this task, like, what, what does it solve that task and how does it, uh, how is it important to the mission of singularity net? And then also like what, uh, problem 
you even see like yes there is a task to translate it but why we translating and then peter was able to quite quickly answer so i felt like these questions maybe are they add a bit of like difficulty to create a task but it creates a lot of valuable context which then also allows these tasks to be moved on the board and and these like experiments and analytics were were taken from uh, cardano uh, project catalyst uh, circle like uh, experiments um, and so far it felt like it would suit um, and maybe like in few weeks when we create these tasks and there was also peter created a new task about creating that template so i know we could adopt that try it out and in two weeks we perhaps the tasks themselves we define them by answering those questions and then everybody else can be a project manager by raising thoughtful uh, issues yeah it would basically be open to anybody to create tasks okay great thanks Um, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, we did have a, a session for uh, setting it up, um, but yeah, then we dove a bit deep into certain issues and then before you know it, time is over and uh, yeah. Uh, so that will need more um, workshopping sessions for, uh, for setup. Um, yeah, same as always. If, if there's anybody interested in, uh, in joining that, uh, do reach out, do let me know. I th think we did not properly schedule the next one. Um... No, we did not. Um... Might as well go ahead and do that. Um... Would Thursday 14 UTC work? Just throwing out a, a time slot. And it's, I guess, primarily aimed at Tivo and Grandano, of which I know they're interested, but anybody else uh, interested is also free to uh, chime in. Yeah, Thursday works for me. Hmm. Sorry, I have to omit Thursday, but uh, it's more people around. Yep, okay. Uh, Thursday works for me, and I hope to actually create the templates too, so we can use that session to review the, the process. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so Thursday 14 UTC, um, if anybody also watching this later uh, does want to join in on that, just reach out. Uh, let's see, yeah, I did make some uh, improvements to the sign-up form, uh, it does need a bit further, um, like I, I was thinking completely redoing it, but then I figured, well, there's this interest form is already out there and it's it's not that bad i can probably just improve it and then it comes actually functioning uh, so i had a little go on that um, yeah, for example it, it, it didn't specify which creative tasks uh, somebody would be interested in doing so if somebody is uh, wanted to write or make a video or help on the podcast uh, this was all the same box so that's like yeah it gives some information but uh, hardly any at the same time uh, the only thing I want to add now is um, like a, a bit of the skill set, um, yeah, place to enter your, your your skills, which you have and which you're looking to contribute. And yeah, I think that's it on the sign up form. 
community podcast. I think we covered enough. Um, and let's see the infographic. Um, last week we discussed this as a yeah, it's like a like a challenge, and there was some discussion um, whether to do this as a group project or as uh, to have separate people make separate versions. And um, when was it? Not entirely sure when it was. Uh, at some point, um, I think after yesterday's meeting. Um, Tifa, you made a, a form for um, yeah asking some questions on what people are looking for in this uh, infographic. I will try to find a link and put that in the sheet actually, and also in the in the meeting notes. Uh, okay, I will look for it. I'm also looking. Okay, found on the ambassador program channel and Navig Tanamara board. Awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, outside of the meeting, I, I did not get uh, input on this uh, task challenge uh, concept. So maybe that tells something about the quality of the challenge. <laughs> Then on to the updates on the tasks. Uh, let's see, we're 20 minutes to go now. Um, yeah, translations are coming in. A bit slow, but, uh, but they are coming in. Um, there's a new um, blog post which um, is up for translation. Uh, I will make these tasks in... Uh, in D work, and you will see them pop up in the chat once they are there. And I think, yeah, it should be either this night or tomorrow. Uh, there's a, a May community update blog incoming. And that also will be uh, up for translation. So there's a bit more translation tasks coming. Um, I did figure out, um, at least for short term, uh, a way to deal with the translated content and I think we'll simply put it on the SingularityNet forum and then at the medium page um, of the original blog post we can simply link like, um, oh this is also available in whatever translations are available. So I was trying to juggle with uh, Medium and, and having like some setup where you can, within Medium, select um, how to say which which languages you want to read, uh, but you can't really change anything, uh, not much in uh, in Medium. So that yeah, I think it's more practical to simply now that people are providing these translations to have them available for for readers. <laughs> so. Yeah, then I figured let's let's go for the forum. Then on the reduce beta review, there's one applicant so far. Um, there were slots for three. And let me check if I heard back. Crandano uh, from the Top of mind that uh, you were interested in doing that, right? Yeah, definitely. Is there anybody I need to reach out to about that? No, I'm doing that and uh, it's slow. Uh, but yeah, I hope to have that figured out and then finalized tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's see. So yeah, there's, there's still two open spots there. If anybody's interested, 
and um, let's see the open call for blog posts uh, that did get um, during the discussion was mentioned like well this should be uh, narrowed down a bit uh, because of the scope of uh, yeah it's just very open call and yeah did not properly do that to be honest um, this this narrowing down into yeah, more directed uh, topic. Uh, there were some suggestions to to have it be about the ambassador program itself, and I like the suggestion. At the same time, uh, nobody followed up on that suggestion. So, I think for now that remains an open uh, open item. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, and. Um, a couple of new ideas, which I figured, let's hear what people think about it. Whether it's uh, worth putting some some tokens next to that, or even, yeah, if it's worth ideating further on. Um, first one would be, an, uh, I think it would be great to have an, an open pool for people interested in, in graphic slash creative work. Um, sometimes in uh, internally in, in SingularityNet, there is an acute need for, for something, but there's, yeah, it's a struggle with resources or do we need to shuffle around stuff. And so I, I figured it would be good to have um, like an open pool. So we can just target it directly, ask people who we know are interested um, in doing this kind of work. Yeah, to, to get them to help out. Um, so yeah right now it's a bit hard to put um, actual reward next to that so i didn't and i guess graphic slash creative is, is pretty broad uh, would include uh, video could include audio if the task asked for it and next one is something i did mention earlier i think Last week, um, like if we at some point want ambassadors to be able to host live events, we need some some kind of information pack to give them. And yeah, we're still looking for for people who uh, would like to help out on that, or perhaps people who have a lot of experience on on live events and uh, know what we should definitely um, not skip in these uh, promo packs. I can definitely help. I reached out to the Cardano ambassadors in Slack and asked some meetup organizers who have some pretty great experience already to ask if they could spare some time and give some introduction, education, but not to, to the folks here. And they are really motivated, so, yep. Awesome. Um, uh, yeah, based on the um, the the Catalyst Swarm meeting on uh, on deep funding and singularity net, I figured it would be interesting to uh, perhaps uh, put out a task for somebody to write a one pager on it, just like a summary on on what kind of thinking happened there, what 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 got covered, because. Um, um, not gonna lie, I did not find the time so far yet to listen back to it. It's I'm fully booked during the day and then yeah, the last hour of the day I got to do something on my own and yeah, I find myself so far not having listened to it. So that made me think, look, yeah, perhaps we can, if we could get a one page going, then uh, this, this content can be more accessible just because it's less time invested. So maybe uh, definitely worth also to think about the general process. If we have, let's say, community events in Project Catalyst, and we speak about things in Singularity and Deep Fund to say, oh, okay, because the situation will repeat, and which process do we want to have on back to easily stream everything, all the information there then to you guys? And vice versa, I think would yeah, be really cool. cool as well. Have, for example, something like this for the actual town halls here as well, right? Where we can easily stream between the communities, hey, what is going on there? Trying to keep everybody more or less up to date. Because it's kind of difficult mostly to catch up with conversations. Mostly it takes too much time. So people prefer mostly to just be part of the conversation. 
which very often then brings you, yeah, very often you have to discuss topic twice and <laughs> whatnot and everything. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, it was also it was really cool to see um, from the Catalyst Swarm side to see these uh, bounties popping up for timestamping uh, the, the, the town hall from, uh, I think, the, two weeks ago by now. Yeah. That made me think like, yeah, well, actually, that would have been a cool task to, to have for ourselves to, to have this timestamping going on. Um, but I also really, yeah, I really appreciate like this cross uh, pollination or like collaboration. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Um, this one can be a bit more concrete, I guess, because right now there's no, well, there's no token amounts anywhere, but um, trying to put it a bit into perspective with other bounties we put out. I think it would be like yeah, perhaps something like seven hundred fifty ish. What the timestamps or the wrap up? You say? Well, for this this one pager, mm -hmm. well, it's just a number I'm making up at, at the spot, so. Yeah, it makes me think like everything documented uh, related feels like it's, it's where to be tracked because even when we come out of here this session we were I do take notes but I don't uh, take them to deeper because there was some action items we talked about there was some meetings people were like suggesting yes we with like Cardano ambassadors down to meet which is actually a task to be created and having somebody like, I don't know, how, how would you create a task? Like it would be a, like a long term task or a, every single meeting, even this, like you would sit here to capture actions. Uh, but after this meeting is over, your next step is to distribute them in the DWAP or like in documentations as as expected and that would allow for like far because right now we what we do here is we, we go to the working groups and then we do the work or we single handed ourselves doing it but we, if we had somebody who does that for us it's same that it creates more complexity but I think it would also build on what we do in a higher impact. So you're saying we need a taskmaster? Kinda. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Um, at the same time, if there's anybody around uh, who feels like yeah that's something i, I would really enjoy doing feel free to uh, to speak up i do enjoy doing it but i know that also takes time and unfortunately i don't have it same here <laughs> same here <laughs> sorry were you talking about like taking minutes or what were you guys saying well, not so much. Um, basically, um, when some actions um, get get decided on, and they need to be turned into a task in uh, D work. Well, that part of, of putting like the yeah managing the tasks in in D work. Not especially managing the tasks, but you said it right. Putting the tasks there. What happens the uh, rest is just the community decide or the working group when, when he next time joins a meeting is like or just had the meeting like, oh but it's all here. Yeah. 
nice that we, we can review and we don't actually have to spend the first 50 minutes and 30 minutes to to do the work or prepare your work so i, I feel like peter is doing a great job but um, he also needs to start um, multiplying and, and uh, share his knowledge and time on to to stay on the edge Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly happy uh, doing that. Um, yeah, at the same time, for, for now or, or later on, or if anybody's watching this back once again, feel free to reach out and... Uh, yeah, it's a job that, that does need uh, somebody to work on it. All right. Um, Clock is telling me six more minutes, which is not that much. Um, yeah, another. That's really a, a stupid random idea in a way, but um, I figured perhaps um, having some kind of metaverse presence could be cool. Um, but then again, um, this is kind of me thinking out ideas where. Potentially, somebody with a very small percentage of chance um, actually feels passionate about it and, and steps up and takes the initiative. So, yeah, it's just an idea. Oh, I guess I'm late. I was thinking about a metaverse type of a presence and maybe some type of newscasting or updates for AI ecosystem developments in the metaverse because there's a huge uh you know demographic there that's uh tech related but uh i guess we'd need some type of a structure something you know what what, what would be the expectations etc that's that's as open as it can be to be honest the the expectations regarding the specific Two words I put there, because yeah, I don't know. I, I saw some something like yeah. Well, right now we don't have any metaverse presence as uh, singularity, not not so much. I mean, Sophia is making uh, making dance here and there, and yeah, I figured it, it could be something um, worth pursuing. Yeah, that's definitely something I'm interested in uh, a lot myself. So, and I'm. Pretty heavily follow the VR space um, and um, <clears throat> some of the bigger um, YouTubers in there, and um, I'm I'm very you know passionate about VR and the future of, of all that too. So that's definitely something I'm interested in. Yeah, I I, uh, I apologize for being late. I somehow got the time wrong. But Peter E, are you with Singularity.net or Cardano? I work for Singularity.net. Oh, okay. By the way, is uh, Sophia still using chat script? I don't know. The, the, I think... I'm, I'm not sure what, what exact engine she's using currently. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah, fair, fair. Oh, I guess I should have mentioned my name is Robert Oshler. In Discord on GPT for me, but my name is Robert Ashland. Hello, Felix, and everybody. Hi. Yo. Yeah, so I'm gonna check out what type of easy fixes there are to maybe maybe play, you know, Singularity Net related videos in some type of a metaverse setting. But uh, I'll explore that and maybe get back to it. There's yeah, it can be cool. Like some billboards. Uh... Oh. And I guess the uh, same goes for you, uh, Julian. If you if you have some more concrete ideas than just metaverse presence, then <laughs> yeah, it was just uh, just an idea from my side. Uh, if you can get, find some some twist. Uh... Yeah, it's very welcome. Okay, yeah, I'll write it down and see what I can think about.
I do have like a somewhat of a direct connection to one of um, the bigger um, VR people and, and YouTube. And um, I was thinking about that actually in regards to the Museverse people of potentially at some point maybe connecting them over, um, you know, uh, and I don't know how that would play into this right off the bat. We probably would want a game plan um, actually what we want to do. But at some point, if there is some sort of exciting thing that, you know, we we want to do with Singularity Net or, you know, the ambassador program or anything of that nature. Um, it is possible that I have, um, you know, a couple people I can, one in particular that's, um, they do this big, they do this podcast together and some of the bigger, it's like four of, four of the bigger yeah, VR, you know, Twitch and YouTube people. Um, and I, you know, one of them I've, I've talked to from time to time and that may be, you know, uh, useful for us at some point just to be able to say, hey, we're doing this exciting stuff and maybe they'll take interest and they can share it. And that could potentially be a good growth, uh, you know, way to grow or uh, share things. I just don't know, how, know exactly how we would use it right now. Maybe once we get more organized about some stuff. Okay, when you guys are talking about the Singularity videos, are you talking about the ones on the YouTube channel or are you referring to a different collection? That's what I mean, pretty much, yeah. Just the YouTube <clears throat> presence that, you know, Singularity Net puts the videos out there. And then we have the Ambassador Program here and the Community Podcast and different you know, things we're working on. Okay, thank you. Um, I also think it won't be that long before, um, yeah, with, um, for example, Sophia first, uh, there's just, yeah, quite a bit of uh, Metaverse focus in there. Um, Jam Galaxy also has a, quite a, quite over, yeah, overlaps quite a bit. There's a, there will be, here and there, there will be all kinds of um, Metaverse interactions, so, yeah. All right, um, I think this is pretty much the final slide. Um, yes, yeah, just a quick overview of um, the rewards that are about to be uh, distributed. Um, it's the, well, anybody can see the screen, I reckon. Um, for the video for uh, Dr. Matty Clay for Crypto AI News, and then the video shorts, which um, Tifo submitted three and also became the top three scoring videos in that uh, challenge. So double the tokens there. And then, yeah, something I, I did want to touch on for the meeting notes, because um, I think they're awesome. Uh, at the same time with four or five meetings a week, times this amount of tokens it, at some point we'll, we'll be giving like a quarter of the tokens away to making notes <laughs> and yeah i was thinking like hmm, not sure how yeah how sustainable that is so yeah that's something to yeah to consider because yeah what helps a lot especially on the beginning if you have a community and you want to somehow figure out hey you have a community and you have contributors, you have participants, and you have hardcore freaks. In the beginning, tasks really help a lot to, let's say, already share the work of a bunch of people, but some feel more committed over time, right? And then, for example, what makes much more sense to say, hey, you have something like a maintainer role, and this maintainer role is specifically, as, for example, rewarded for overall tasks, which they take, because you will see maybe over the time, oh, they pick a bunch of tasks. But then it makes more sense to say, oh, okay, like off the task doesn't make sense anymore for this role then, or for the growth of the project, how it's really establishing. Then you, you replace the task much more as roles. But first you have to figure out those roles and to figure those out, you divide the task then. Because then you can identify already, oh, ah, okay, which tasks are all the time created and tightened and whatnot. But just say for a long time, really see that task specifically to people is really difficult to budget them when you have them really all the time. And then you run into issues, like you said, and you spend a bunch of resources to only those tasks, but uh, it doesn't really make sense anymore in this context. Yeah, fair. 
Can someone post the link to the upcoming schedules for this? Um, in the calendar. <laughs> it's really important. <laughs> <laughs> the one place to find everything to please practice. please i think that each monday tuesday and friday at 18 utc always at this discord server monday tuesday wednesday right okay thank you felix these are the official ones and then you have a bunch of i think uh walking sessions during the week again i think this one today is the third one already for you peter yeah. Yeah, and I, I think you say Friday um, 18, but last week the podcast one was at 16. I'm not sure if we. Ah, yes, sorry. My did mistake. push that. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not sure about this week whether it will be 18 or 16 UTC. No, no, it was just my mistake. Are we doing 16 Architect this Friday? Just to get full clarity. Yes, it's the last time was it the uh, 60. Uh, wait, uh, I mix it up with my own time. Uh, it's um, 18, 16. Yeah, 16 UTC. I guess it was last time, wasn't that correct? Uh, and uh, I guess we said that we should try that uh, recurrently. Or did I misinterpret all other? Wishes. No, that's perfect. Just, uh, just making sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Then the yeah current schedule would be uh, um, Tuesdays the town hall, and then on on Friday the community podcast uh, meeting, and then on Monday the ambassador program incubation structure structuring figuring out stuff work group, which needs a shorter name, but yeah. Work in progress. Uh, let's see. Yeah, then to uh, sum up so far for the translations, they have not been, uh, none of them have been verified. So I figured um, instead of doing um, like um, once a month uh, payment, I'll, I'll check in two weeks uh, to make sure that, yeah, people are not waiting for, for ages and ages. Um, Yep. That's it. So how many mirror boards has TiVo created already? Uh, two. <laughs> uh, tomorrow uh, it's gonna be a third one. But they're huge. So I'm not sure if it counts as just two. This actually a really good indicator where you can see how how a community crop just check TiVo my TiVo my robots fucking <laughs> <laughs> inception and evolution of a community <laughs> but but it's true huh? yeah I also like to sometimes reflect back to the project part of Myra and then I see hundreds of like archived and long because I also see like they go further back the, the longer I touch them, so I notice some titles of, oh, that they did last year, and hmm, seems it has grown into this now, what is the latest. <laughs> yeah, TiVo's boards and the graphs of Victor, they're indispensable. Yeah, I like it a lot so far. Uh, let's see, this is pretty much, uh, yeah, uh, what I wanted to cover. Uh, still a bit of room for uh, any questions, ideas, or thoughts anybody might have. No, just a little feedback. I really love the graphics you've been creating. Thank you. I wish I could claim it as my own work, uh, which is not true. You mean the, from the slides? Yeah, I'm like looking at the ambassador program, uh, purple and and I guess that's called red, but it's it's a really nice and, and very eye pleasing. I'll pass that compliment along. Appreciate it. All right, I think. Uh... 
If nobody wants to add something for now, then uh, that wraps it up. Then the next uh, meeting will be, as we just mentioned, uh, coming Friday at 16 UTC. And Thursday on 14 UTC, there's going to be a um, working session on uh, setting up the D work. So thanks everybody for joining. And I hope you have a nice remainder of the evening or afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you for presenting. You're very welcome. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Peter. Bye-bye. I think you really love the host. Definitely. <laughs>